Good evening. Uh, tonight I'm going to install a, a quad lock uh, phone mount and an iPhone on the uh, Livewire 1 and I'm going to tie it into the USB port and then I'm going to demonstrate uh, how it works in terms of controlling the uh, navigation function, the, the map function, the finding of chargers, the controlling of music on the bike, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But just to give you a fast overview before we get started, there is an external USB-C port behind the quarter fairing. It's in a little rubber boot, very hard to find, but it's in there and it's a weatherproof USB-C port that provides current when the bike's turned on. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mount a phone mount on this handlebar <clears throat> so that I can uh, uh, control my uh, GoPro, uh, run different applications, as well as doing the mapping at the same time. So if I get a phone call or something's happening, it won't disrupt the maps. The maps will still show on the screen and I can keep going and then tie it into the Bluetooth on the helmet. <clears throat> now what I did, I went out and I got the uh, premium handlebar mount pro from Quadlock. There's two versions. This is the more expensive one. This was $60, the other one's 19. The reason I got this, it looks more durable and it's black so it you know, matches the black handlebars on the bike. Now, I found out from experience that if you put a quad lock on a motorcycle and you have an iPhone that has a self-focusing lens, the vibration destroys the camera on the iPhone. So quad lock came out with a vibration damper which we're also going to install, which keeps the uh, phone from being damaged on the handlebar. And then lastly, I need a shorter one, but the shortest cable I could find for tonight was a three foot uh, lightning uh, TUSB-C. So what's going to happen, we're going to have to wrap it around the handlebar a few times, take up the extra length. We're going to plug in USB-C and then plug it into the iPhone. So we're uh, powered while we're running. And then uh, long term, I'll see if I can uh, find a shorter cable, like maybe, you know, less than a, a foot long, so I don't have to wrap it around the handlebars. So uh, let's get started uh, with the unboxing. Okay, so first up is the uh, handlebar mount pro. So it says pull the tab, pull the tab. That's probably for warranty or something. Let's see what we get in the box. Okay. All right, so this is everything, I guess. So here I've got the uh, Allen key to put it on the bike. These are uh, things for different size handlebars. Little donuts. Okay, so we got different size donuts, and then we have the main bar that goes on. Looks like it's already got one in it. And then we've got the piece that hooks onto the phone, and it's got something else in here too. A little piece of rubber. Oh, that's a third size for the handlebar. So I guess we have all these different donuts to have it to the right size of the handlebar. And then this is the part that hooks onto the phone. So what we want to do is we want to put it <clears throat> up here. And uh, I guess the big thing is going to be if we got the right size. So let me put the uh, Allen key in here. There it is. Unthread it. Threads in the bottom part of the bracket. Okay, there it broke loose almost. Okay, so there's the screw. Here's the little dummy thing inside. Let's see how much room we have. Okay, so that's too loose. We need something in there. So let's go over here and I'm going to just try randomly. I'm going to try this one. 
So let's uh, go over here. Okay, so I guess let's go like this. Actually, I'll put this on first. So I got that thing on the handlebar. Drop the screw. Well, I think that was the right one. That seems like a snug fit. Let's see. Yeah, it's working. Okay, that's looks like that's the right size. So um, I think that's uh, that's a good place to start. I'm not sure uh, if this should be above or below. I don't want it to hit the tank when it comes down. Yeah, so that's going to be above so it doesn't hit the tank. Okay, so I'm going to tighten this down a little snugger. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. See, that doesn't move at all. Now that's rock hard. Wow, that's on there. Perfect. Okay, so let's turn it off. Okay, next up is the vibration damper. Uh, we're going to open that up. See what's inside. This piece was a twenty dollars. Okay, oh, that's kind of cool. Don't know how to get it out of there exactly. Oh, that was the uh, Allen key fell out of there. But I already have that. Okay, now what this is. I don't know if you can see that, but see that's rubber mounted. So it's on three pieces of rubber. So the phone mounts on the top and the thing is rubberized so that it uh, moves around. So that's how that works. Now do we have a, we don't have a screw. Okay, so the way it works is this piece that's got the rubber part that moves this piece hooks onto it. This is the piece that hooks onto the phone. So we're now going to uh, put these pieces on the bike. First of all, we screw this. Actually, the Allen key fits through the threads on the first one. You can tighten it down on the phone lock. I noticed that each of the threads already has a Loctite on it. So there we go. Tighten it down doesn't uh, can't reach it that way so just gonna try it really hard with my fingers here okay that's good now see this is now movable you can see that moves okay next up we're gonna put on the latch for the phone now what happens when you take it off I'm gonna be using my left hand like this so I'm trying to think if I want the release latch on the right or the left uh, I think I want it on the left so put that in there, screw that in, Oop. Really work perfectly. Yeah. All right, we're good to go. Okay, so now we're going to demonstrate how this works. We have the phone in the mount, 
it's, uh, it's rubber mounted. We can get it out of the mount just by pushing that half turn it's out and then you can uh, push it back in. <laughs> okay, let me get off the bike here, push back in, I'm gonna make sure it's lined up right in the back. Okay, anyway, I guess I'm not, I'll take this off the bottom. Okay, there we go. Now we're locked in. So then I plug in the USB-C on the bottom. And as you can see right now, the bike's off and it's not charging. So now I hop on the bike <clears throat> and I push the power switch on the bike. So you see the bike fires up and right away I'm charging. So as soon as I turn the bike on, as soon as I flick the switch, the thing started charging. So now it's working <clears throat> and uh, it's also hooked up with Bluetooth now. You see the blue light there? That means the phone is hooked up with the Bluetooth to the bike. So now we're ready to go. So I'm gonna pick it up a little bit. I'm gonna put the side stand up. I'm going to hit the button to start the bike. Okay, so the bike is now on. <clears throat> now I'm gonna demonstrate a bunch of stuff that I've never seen before, but uh, here it goes. I'm gonna run three different apps at the same time. I'm gonna push the Livewire app. Okay, this is AMP. This is the current bike that we're on. So we go down to the bottom and, uh, okay, if I can figure out how to do this now, I want to go to the map, okay, so go back, okay, so I push amp, okay, here's what I need down here, so I push the map button and there's the maps and it's going to come up with a bike on the map. There we are right there. So now I'm gonna tell I wanna go somewhere. So I'm gonna tell I wanna to go to Santa Monica. So I push Santa Monica. It highlights Santa Monica, I say take me there. <clears throat> you can also do this with chargers. So now it's finding the best route. Take it a second, there's the route. So we'll take the one it shows. So I go start, then it says let's ride. Okay, now what's happened now is the navigation is running the Livewire navigation app is running on the phone. If I push the handle or the switch on the right handlebar here, I can get to the point where it's showing navigation. So here is the turn-by-turn -turn navigation. So this is actually 34.5 miles. Uh, see, 35 miles. So it's the same thing as turn-by-turn -turn navigation to East Highland. You're showing East Highland there. Now what I can do is I can close the app <coughs> and I can go back to other things on the phone. Let's say I want to listen to some music. So I'm going to run that app simultaneously with the navigation. So I push the music app and if I push the handlebar on the right, on the right here there's music. <clears throat> so by using the left hand toggle I can turn the music on off. So there's Destiny's Child and I can even turn the volume up and down. So there I've got the volume up, there I'm moving it down and I can change songs and I can do it in background. So now I have navigation on the right, I have music on the left, I can control both of those including the volume uh, with the left knob. I can also control volume on the navigation from the left knob. This can all play through the Bluetooth and then while all that's going on I can run a third app <clears throat> which in this case I might want to use the GoPro app. So I can use the GoPro to uh, see what my camera's seeing, so I can watch what my camera's seeing as I'm riding to decide which clips I want to take while I'm listening to music and doing navigation. So, I mean, this is really crazy. So all this stuff is uh, happening at the same time, and it all uh, works perfectly. All right. Have a nice evening. Thank you.